All right, hey guys, it's Tanoffs, and uh, here's a quick little, an awesome drift car that I found. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that the 45 Jeep could be a good drift car, but it, it really is, and I'm gonna show you why, like right about now. So, it, it, if you guys don't have this car, you gotta get to that point of the game. You, you need to have this car. It is an amazing car. So here I'm gonna show you uh, really quickly the upgrades that I got. Uh, first off, I went to the conversion. And I swapped out the engine with the 6.2 liter V8 and there's a comparison <laughs> of the stock and the the engine swap uh, also race tires uh, yes race tires I did the best everything for the drivetrain like transmission clutch drive shaft except for the differential I didn't I didn't do any of that uh, the differential is the same. Uh, the best brakes, the best shocks, anti roll bars, weight reduction. Uh, I put the roll cage on there to give it more of the uh, a realistic kind of thing in case you roll it, because it it will it will roll like a lot, especially if you try going off road with it. This it, it's no no longer really an off road vehicle. Um, I would not do any off roading at all. So that that's pretty much what I did. Every engine upgrade. Uh, cost me about a hundred grand and here here's some clips of me just drifting um, I myself am not a drifter so it will be some pretty bad uh, drift footage I I just I, I can't drift uh, straighter is better the yeah, like you know that kind of stuff uh, but this car or this Jeep actually made it fairly easy for me to drift and I still can't drift so but this is just uh I like like right there right there that I I can't drift so uh, I was actually getting most of my points from just driving down the the highway the big long straight highway and just getting really close to cars as I drove by I was getting 25,000 XP before the multipliers so I would suggest doing those even even in a regular car but uh, this this car works pretty good for drifting too high speed it works good high speeds in straights uh, very easy to lose control of this car when just racing uh, I would not recommend mend it for racing then the stock motor that comes in the car its top speed is only like 75 miles per hour so and it felt really slow trying to drive it from during one of the road trips because I chose this for my championship. So, but this car is an amazing car. If you have the extra credits and you just want to have some fun, I would strongly recommend doing this. It, all it is is a maxed out everything Jeep. There's no, no tuning, no real tuning involved. So... I would definitely do this. It is so much fun. Like right there, I got a five times multiplier, and I suck at drifting. The the best, the highest uh, skill points that I've ever got though was like 150,000, which that came from just driving down the highway. So, but definitely, I, I, I can't stress this enough. This is an amazing car. It is a fun car. I am so glad I, I spent my 100,000 credits on this car. The, the like, 60,000 on the motor alone just to do the engine swap. It was just amazing. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, th thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye.